Hi, my name is Keith Cooper and in this video I'm going to address a problem I get asked quite often and I call it the problem of the good printer. People ask me what's the best printer and I've got quite a few videos telling you why there's no such thing as a best printer. Well, not unless you give me an awful lot more information other than just the best printer, uh, because if you don't, I'm liable to suggest one that costs £10,000 or something like that, and I couldn't even fit in the house. Um, oh, you didn't say it had to fit in the house, but you know what I mean. Anyway, I do a lot of printer testing, and um, I've got coming up, and it'll probably be published tomorrow, a look at different Baraita papers and why they are different on different types of uh, printer and how the results vary and what you can get, what they're good for using for. Now, the examples I've got here at the moment is this is Snapson P5000, pigment ink printer, big hefty printer, roll paper, lots of inks, excellent printer, done lots of stuff on that. Here, is Canon Pro 200. Now it's a dye-based ink printer and a lot of people would automatically dismiss, oh well that's not as good is it? Well I've said there's no such thing as best, it's about what you get out of it. Here are some prints. Um, in fact one of these prints here was actually done on an Epson XP 15000, which is an even more basic printer in many ways than the Pro 200 here. Um, it's much smaller and well, with the right image, the right processing, you can get great prints from it. You can from this one, you can from this one, and this is the whole point. If I look at these two printers here and the 15,000, which was one that Epson loaned me for a while, so I don't have that here. Also, I'm not allowed to live in a printer warehouse, so there is a limit to the number of printers I'm gonna stack here. I don't have a secret basement where I can be surrounded by, uh, by printers. Uh, so. What I've got here, just these two, basic dye, basic, um, well, not that basic pigment. Um, it's a pretty good one. But here's the bit that people don't really want to know, and they rarely ever ask me about when they're asking for the better printer. People make the mistake, and it's a perfectly reasonable one, because printer marketing would have you believe this, is that better printers make for better prints. Yeah, they can. Problem is that to get the best out of better printers, you need to have the skills to use them. You need all kinds of other stuff as well. Um, you need a good, good images. You need to be able to edit them well. You need to understand color management. All of these things contribute to a good print, whether it be a black and white print, color print, whatever type of media it's on. Now, if I'm looking at these different ones, you think, well, all right, then I still, yeah, I can do the editing. Um, what about a cheaper printer? Nothing wrong with a cheaper printer. As I've shown in many demos and videos I've done and things like that, you can easily get great looking prints. Perhaps I glossed over that easily bit. To get a really good print at the Epson XP 15,000. And this is the print that was done on the 15,000. Um, view of a boat unloading fish at uh, Amble Harbour in Northumberland. Um, to get that better, I've had to make profiles. In making colour profiles, print profiles, I've used what is perhaps four or five thousand pounds worth of equipment and software to do it. As I said, it's easy, but while I have the stuff sitting about, I've, I've done lots of testing in the past for x right so I've got access to all of this stuff and I can easily make profiles. Now, it's easy to look at the print from the XP15000 and think, whoa, well, that's pretty good. Why bother with this? Well, what I, I do get better things with better printers. I get more inks, I get more media selection, I get more control over things. In this particular one, I get roll paper. Now, I can run large sheets of paper through this one. Even the XP15000 with a bit of sort of jiggery pokery and cutting pieces of paper, I was able to print panoramic prints. Yes, you can get great prints from smaller printers, but it takes far more work. And in a way, it's that work that I have, it, that I've done lots of stuff over the years, testing printers and editing pictures, because I'm a professional photographer as well, so I supply images to clients. Because of all of that, 
it's relatively easy for me. And here's the bit the printer makers won't tell you. As I said earlier, to get the best results out of the best printers, read expensive printers, you need to make the effort. You need to learn about things. You need to learn about color management. You need a good monitor, editing, all of those things there. So uh, don't think that just by buying a better printer, you will get better prints. You have the capacity to get better prints. I'm reminded of when I did my motorbike test here in the UK, um, a fair few years ago now. Um, I did one of these things where you learn to ride and do your test in a week. Now I'd driven a car and I'd cycled a lot, but uh, you know, to, I'd never ridden a motorbike before. Sunday, first go on a motorbike. Following Friday, I did my bike test. I passed my bike test. As the guy doing the teaching pointed out to a lot of other people who were doing this test, at the you know, quick test, just because you have passed your bike test does not mean you can go out and buy a 1,000cc motorbike and go zooming off around the country. Because if you do, you're likely to wrap yourself around a tree. Um, it's easy when it's, you know, to, to realise that when it's your life on, you know, at risk from doing it. Um, just passing your test, i.e. buying that new printer, doesn't mean you're going to get that. I could buy a really expensive motorbike, bang, straight into a ditch. That's me gone. Um, and it happens to people, which you know, presumably is why you know, they were very strong on these warnings, just because you have passed your test. I can buy a good printer, doesn't mean I'm going to get any particularly good results out of it. So be prepared to do the work. My excuse is I supply photos professionally and I also do all of this testing of different papers and everything like that. So it gives me lots of experience. Unless you think I'm having a go at people saying, well, it's your fault for not knowing enough about it. It applies to me as well. I learn new stuff every time I test a printer. Every time I test a new paper, I do some profiling or something like that. The knowledge I've got goes up just that bit. And it makes the whole process of producing great prints easier. So the problem of the good printer is that you need to know how to use it. You can, as I say, get good prints out of lesser printers as well. But in a way that takes even more knowledge. So yeah, it swings and roundabouts. How much effort are you prepared to put in? I'm sorry, just buying the printer is the first step in it. No people want it done easy and they want it easy for themselves, but it don't work like that. If you want really good printing, it even goes back to without good photo, if I, this is for photography printing, without good photos that I'm happy with, it doesn't matter how good a printer I use. So just a few little things to bear in mind if you think, oh, I need a new printer, I want a new printer, my prints, I need a better printer. Mm. Well, how to decide. I've got lots of other videos looking at this thing. But as I say, somebody asked me a question this morning and the, the, the assumption underneath it was, if I just spend the money, I'll get better prints. Oh, if only that were, it were that simple. It isn't. Uh, isn't for me, isn't for anybody. I hope that's of interest. Please do ask questions. Um, I really do appreciate it. it. It gives me ideas for the occasional rant like this. Um, and it allows me to say things that printer marketing they know is true, but they can't tell you because they're selling printers. Anyway, I hope that's fun. Um, please do subscribe to the channel uh, and tell other people about it. It's growing nicely and um, I appreciate that. Thanks.